The faith of a person often defines what their individual ideals are. A person's faith is something they build their lives on. Many use their faith as a cornerstone for their lives and allow it to drive their daily decisions and actions. Too often, society stereotypes people of certain beliefs and religions. I believe uh, that Jesus Christ came down and uh, he is the ultimate sacrifice and he died so that I could spend eternity in heaven with him. I am a Mormon, so I believe I'm a Christian. I believe that it just kind of happened, like evolution, not necessarily evolution, but like, you know, somehow this world got put together. I am a Christian. I'm non-denominational though. I guess I would label myself as an agnostic. The stereotypes surrounding each faith are so strong that no matter how good or bad a person is, they will always have to sidestep the ever-watching eyes of society. The faith of a person represents the mold that society places around them. The individual person's character is rarely considered in the equation. I don't I think I think sometimes Christians forget the love and they forget the diplomacy like in sharing their faith and they just come they come in like a jackhammer and they're like this is my faith and you're going to hell and that's that's not the way Jesus did it. I mean, yeah, he told the truth, but there was love too. It's not necessarily just that like Christians are judgmental. It's that you know, we put whenever we whenever we claim that we're a Christian, we paint a big red target on our back, and people are looking at us. They're like, "Oh, that kid's a Christian," and you know, I mean, everybody's gonna everybody's judging everybody. Just like it's how we are. We're sinful. I think there is a lot of judging going on, um, just because I see I see a lot of it um, myself. Being a Mormon, I feel like they separate me out, and I feel like sometimes they do judge me just for being a Mormon. It's not that he looks at me differently, but I can tell. And a lot of people, like, I'm interested in someone and I want to be friends with them and talk to them. They don't necessarily want to talk to me because I'm atheist and they think that I'm, like, diseased or something. Everyone wants to label somebody. Um, I mean, I judge people all the time, but, like, I don't say it out loud because everyone judges people in their head, but I do my best not to. People have risked their lives for their faith before. What amount of trials and and pain has this generation of teens gone through based on what they believe? How much will they endure? It's really tough, mostly because just, you know, everybody's not really Christian. Like, most people say, oh yeah, I'm a Christian, but they talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk. And there's so many temptations in high school that every, every day it's just like in your face. I've had people tell me I'm delusional and like people ask how I can be so smart and then believe in God and I've had you know different things like that and then when you tell people you're a Christian you sometimes people have their own experiences with Christianity and they automatically assume oh she's this she's that she's judging me she thinks she's perfect you get so much attention because it's different it separates you from other people I don't tell people I mean I'm if they ask I'm not gonna be like no I'm, I'm not atheist I mean I'm so proud of what I believe in, but I'm not going to go around preaching the fact that, oh, I'm atheist. My parents were very strict. Um, they kind of forced me to go to church. I guess when I was little, I didn't really want to go. Just I wanted to go out and have fun. Um, but I guess I was forced into the religion and I didn't really want to be forced into it. And I guess that kind of altered my perception of the religion of Christianity. Why do teens continue to believe the way they do, even when their faith is challenged and tested daily? My faith plays a huge role in my everyday life. It helps to get me through the day. I try to keep things in perspective. Um, I try to keep things in perspective in light of eternity, especially that, you know, in the long run, this test grade, this, this thing that I'm dealing with, it's nothing, really. It's not a big deal when I, when I think about like the future and when I think about what God's done for me, like whatever I'm going through, it's minor. I'm like, I'm not better than any of these people. Like God views all sin the same. So you can't like be like, oh, well, this person did this and this person did this. Like we're all sinners. We all, we all sin and God loves us all the same. And so, you know, I just try to, you know, do what I can to help people see that, that God will love them no matter what they do and, you know, hopefully change their life. I don't believe in doing what society wants you to do. I believe in doing something because you're, you believe in it and you put your whole life behind it because it's what you believe is right. 
not because that's what society wants you to think is right. I have religious friends, I have atheist friends, um, but each one, they have a specific character and they're all, all, all around religious people and non-religious people. They're, they're pretty much all the same. It's just what they believe in, what they don't believe in, but they're all people. There's no room for judgment. The only people I judge are the people who are in my faith because they're the only people who I can hold to that standard of like God's word because they, they've made that commitment. But if you haven't made that commitment, I can't judge you. I can only love you and hope that maybe someday you see, you know, my faith the way I do. It is unfortunate that people who have voiced their faith or belief are supposed to match up to the cookie cutter image that society has created for that faith. Faith is an ideal, pure in its intention, offering a cloak of security and safety. The reality is often very different.